One maxed out MacBook Pro. One iPad Pro. One Springboard Bootcamp. Yo, this is Oscar and I am coming back to the design world. Will these tools help me become a professional product designer within these next couple of months? Welcome to my series on Dudify, my journey to becoming a product designer. Welcome guys back to another episode on Dudify, my journey to becoming a product designer. I'm very excited that I'm improving in my skills and my um, my overall like knowledge of UX designing. I'm pretty happy and I hope I could actually teach you guys a couple of things that will help you with your journey as well if you're going for the for a UX designer position. Like I I I want to help you guys. So like yeah, let, let's let's make it happen, you know? So hopefully this video looks a lot better. I actually dimmed the lights and I think it looks way better. Let me know in the comments below if you think it looks better and leave a like, subscribe, okay? So I totally skipped week seven and week eight, but I felt like I could make potentially a lot of parts based on week seven and week eight. So I'll be listing those up because I feel like it's a lot of information to cover. So yeah, let's move on. So week seven and week eight. So week seven, I was doing my research plan. So what the heck is a research plan? Research plans are really important for UX researchers to present to stakeholders and to groups and your team to know like if the objective you're wanting and desiring is actually um, a good objective or not. Are your good goals? Are they actually worth pursuing or not? And this is really well like when you're uh, talking with your other like teammates to see if this is actually a potential uh, way to to move on with the uh, UX research study. So research plans are super important, like for starting off, uh, basically to cover your research questions, your what your main main goals, objectives, and what kind of method you're going to be using in order to get users uh, responses and qualitative feedback. So it's super important. So, so what a research plan has is a title and your author, your, your name and the stakeholders names and a date. And following that, it also has like a background. So me myself was having a lot of issues with this, with the background, because it wasn't so clear to what was being asked. So me and my mentor were kind of going back and forth to see what what I was missing, I had no idea what, what I was missing. And I was just writing like random things in there like that weren't sufficient evidence, I would say. So after researching and going back like to my my college experience, I remember kind of like that researchers do this a lot. So they get the hypothesis on a, on a, what is it on the on the background and then they provide more information off that hypothesis. So like an if then statement is a hypothesis. So if a hypothesis has a independent variable and a dependent variable, so something that relies on the other one to be um, related in a way. So hypothesis is like a educated guess, but then also in, in the background, you have to provide more resourceful information that has has been evident and proven that it's actually true to back up your hypothesis. So that's super important. And I had difficulty because it wasn't really explained to me how a background was made. So until actually around, it took me like three times to try it out and to actually get it right. But I got it right and I'm able to move forward with the, uh, I moved forward with the survey the, the screen the, the screen survey where I'm able to um, get participants to take my survey and then after that I'm able to decide what participants I want to interview based on their responses so yeah I'm, I'm currently in the the interview part where I'm trying to get people to to interview them and record them and actually get their 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 like the genuine response based on the questions that I will be asking. So yeah, moving on the, for, with the research plan. Also, there's objective and goals. So in that part, 
you'll have to provide like a one sentence saying like oh this is um what i'm trying to meet and and that's basically it. it has to be very short one sentence max and the next one would be uh research questions so research questions are super important because that provides like like a, a topic of of where you're going to be um covering so like uh an easy way to remember this is like like title headings on an essay i would say or yeah or a, or a title of a chapter i would say so using that and and naming them that way would ha actually help you out um in how to categorize your um your research questions so after that it's the methodology which is like which research method you're going to be using like there's a lot of research methods i actually provided like a bunch of them before in, in my videos and i felt like it was overwhelming and i'll definitely cover up a lot of um like research types in the future because i feel like one could actually have a whole video for them so yeah so like depending on what kind of mythology you'll be using um depends on what what you actually insert in there and in my mythology i'm going to be using a, a a screener and then plus interviews you could be doing whatever you desire and what other companies would like um some companies prefer one over the other one so it just all depends on the company and yourself and what you think is more um, convenient for the company as well and mythology is also important because it provides kind of like evidence and kind of like if another ux research were to do the same study with the same mythology then they'll get like basic kind of like the same results so that's the whole purpose of a mythology next is the participants like the characteristics their age uh their gender their just who your targeting audience is and basically list what kind of audience you're targeting and schedule so scheduling when you're gonna like interview them when you're gonna do the survey and just planning ahead is actually very very helpful to see if you're actually moving forward and actually uh, progressing with your survey and uh, with your study i mean and uh the the another one is um probably like a description of, of ways that you're gonna recruit people ways that you're gonna do s certain studies kind of like um to guide you how you're gonna do it and uh, yeah that's basically it see so it wasn't too bad but i felt like i covered what the actual research plan is and what is required I will be continuing on uh, and showing you guys my my research my research plan that I did. So I based it off on nutrition and people ab being able to read nutrition labels and values. And yeah, let me let me show you right now. So here it is. I pulled it up and. This is a capstone, my capstone research plan. And basically it's the same thing that is covered as I mentioned be below, um, uh, b before, I mean, so the, the title, the author and the stakeholders and the date and your background, your objective, your research questions. I actually did have them there, but I put them more at the bottom and mythology participants scheduling and interview day results and yeah so my study my capstone so springboard what we have to do is that we have to come up with the problem and continue on further with the problem because as a ux uh ux researcher and designer you have to know what the problem is and expand on that don't try to like go for the solution right away because that'll like interfere with more um like a broad like a, like if you start with the problem you'll go more broad 
as compared if you go with the solution you'll be like more specific towards that solution and it won't give you like more like a broad way of having and thinking of ways to answer your problem yeah. i hope that makes sense but that's super important as a ux designer not to immediately go for the the solution but but what is like the problem and yeah the capstone research plan the the capstone overall is good because it gives you like a hands-on of what it what it takes to be a ux designer and it makes you think a lot critical think and i'm in the ux research plant like phase and then following that will be more like the the, the prototype the, the wireframing the prototyping and and before that the ideation the, the discovery and stuff yeah it's, it's pretty cool I, I like it a lot and i feel like it's very 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 helpful if you're wanting to join for the the springboard make sure that i left i leave in my description below on 750 dollars off your your springboard if you actually click on that link below i'll leave it on on the description below so like like again i said that i do recommend springboard overall because there's awesome mentors awesome advisors i'm 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 glad i actually signed up for for springboard i i, I enjoy it so far the, the people are actually really awesome there and yeah this basically ends my video i i am doing my, my my capstone research on on people reading nutrition labels and values and how like why they have so much difficulty reading it so yeah i'll keep you guys up to date and keep on watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video for the next one peace out